Hello. Yes, that's right. Our enemies are terrified of British nationalism. And when I say British nationalism, I don't mean the pantomime and circus now masquerading as British nationalism in the form of the BMP, Britain Face, or Amory Waters for Britain, or even the Tommy Robinson Roadshow. I mean real, no messing British nationalism. I've left a link below. Uh, it's off the uh, BBC website. It appeared, I think, in March. Uh, and it's regarding a lasting memorial to the victims of the Manchester Arena bombing. Now, do you really believe it's just a coincidence? The memorial was always coming. I think it says in the article, uh, the memorial was in the making in 2017. Um, do you really believe it's just a coincidence? You don't believe Joe Owens' videos as they uh, put the wind up them in the sense that they would never have wanted us to have got behind a campaign like that when they weren't and should be, right? Do you really think it's just a coincidence? Just an accident? It's not my videos that may have, you know, scared the likes of Andy Burnham and whoever thought, listen, you know, we can't have these jump on this and we do nothing. Come on, Christ. You know, I don't know. And it's like a leaflet I put out in the uh, council elections last year in Kenston and Fairfield. I call for the compulsory purchase of empty properties in the area. And lo and behold, what was on the front page of the Liverpool Echo and a double page inside. A call by Joe Anderson, the mayor, for compulsory purchase of empty properties. Coincidence, another accident. Now, that's just me and my videos and standing in the odd council election. I've had these people, you know, they've had to get off the backside and address issues that I was now um, addressing to the public and they were scared, they were frightened. So imagine what an up and running British Nationalist Party could do. I know messing one, right, right in your face. Imagine, well, exactly, they're terrified. They are literally terrified of British nationalism. What's going to happen regarding Brexit? Well, I don't see how we can pull out a no deal. I just don't see how we can because parliamentary rules are all against this, against that, and you can vote that out and vote that down. You can then suspend it. It's all a mess. The only way Brexit was ever happening is Theresa May and all the rest of the MPs uh, respected the results of the referendum and said, yeah, we've got to all come out, but they haven't. They've all used this sort of law, that sort of law, to try and block it, change it, keep us in, Theresa May being the main culprit. So you could never, we were never coming out of it from day one, were we? Because they weren't going to let us, right? And they've used the law to keep us in, right? Devious fuckers, you know, but whatever. So what's the Brexit party going to do? If, uh, jo Boris Johnson does some sort of Theresa May deal, you know, click the heels in Strasbourg. The next general election won't be till 2022. Because I don't think there's enough um, MPs to call for one, is there? You know, because the Tories aren't going to call for one because they're going to be kicked out. So it's all a mess, isn't it? I may be wrong because it's that complicated. I don't even, I can't even get my head around it. But that's why we need British nationalism. I'm meeting someone tomorrow to just finalise a few little small details regarding constitution and financial scheme. And then we'll be up and running. But let's see what happens on the 31st of October. Because that's going to uh, determine what a call the party and what direction it takes. Okay, thank you.